international sanctions, he has said directly and more than once, we will not permit Iran to get nuclear weapons. So what is it you would do differently? Not what you've said, but what is it you would actually do differently? What would he say? What do you think? I think, uh, I think uh, Governor Romney would say, uh, you know, this is about uh, optics, about perceptions, about uh, about uh, conclusions as to the, uh, the fortitude and resolve of our country. I would have met with Benjamin, Benjamin Netanyahu at the United Nations instead of going to the deal. I would have met with him and shared my thoughts as to, as to what we need to do to save the world and the Middle East for nuclear Armageddon. And I would have told the world, and Iran in particular, that we share Israel's concern for their survival. We frankly share the Arab world's concern for nuclear proliferation because if Iran gets these nuclear weapons, other countries in the Middle East will race to do the same. And uh, you need to talk to Iran and you need to talk to Iran in a stronger sense of commitment that will not allow this to happen. And second, I would say to you that for a matter of such uh, intensity, for a matter that is coming quickly to, uh, to a point in four months from now where these nuclear grade, uh, nuclear grade uh, materials are going to be available. Uh, you need to get the rest of the world more tuned in with us. It can't just be the United States talking to Iran. And I don't see enough of our friends by our side when these conversations are happening. Well, I'd go back and then say, again, I think our agreement is perhaps greater than the rhetoric might suggest the conversations between President Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu about the dangers of Iran have been ongoing. He has met with Prime Minister Netanyahu more than any other leader, I believe. And not only at the presidential level, but at the military level. At, again, the diplomatic level, those conversations are ongoing and they're real. And in fact, as we meet today and talk, there is a joint exercise, the largest ever U.S.-Israel military exercise underway or underway within the next few days. The troops are arriving now. And what they will be going for are how to defend Israel from every level of attack. So it's not just compensation, but it's putting our strength, our power, where our values are. I think that's very important. But then the second piece is I sometimes get frustrated by our, our allies. But the good news is on the issue of sanctions to Iran, the European Union has continued to ratchet up sanctions. And if you look at the results of the Iran economy, is it enough to drink around? You know, a regime that will shoot down its own people in the streets because they dare to protest a rigged election may not care that their economy is failing. We will see in a couple of months if it begins to hit the Revolutionary Guard and some of the top leaders whether well, that's enough to change them. But I do believe our allies have gone farther, have done more than we have ever seen before. Now I asked our